This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. And my people, hope everybody doing okay, hope everybody doing alright. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Psalms 34 and verse 3. Happy Sunday each and every one. Always remember, every day above ground is a blessing. Yes, remember that. So give the Lord thanks that you are alive. And if you're not, don't forget the Lord thanks for give the Lord thanks to somebody. Probably a disgusting neighbor, you can't give the Lord. Say, yo, me disgusting neighbor still alive. Me hear them voice and uh, that wake me up. But but let me tell you something now, people. Let me tell you something. The police now have to sacrifice them no more. Some of them just have to kill off themselves. You understand? So I'm going to update on this one and then you know, tell me how to feel. Remember that the Jamaica Constable Force I said a 16-year-old boy who was one of the four persons killed in the crash along Marcus Garvey Drive in Kingston was the driver of the vehicle. Let me tell you something now. Find him parents them and charge them. Find him parents them and charge them. I don't even ask when we get this out of the way. Me, no sorry for none of them. Who can hear will feel. The cop also confirmed that they were on their way home from an illegal party. It is absolutely ridiculous that people are getting killed in car crashes coming from illegal party. Hours after the stipulated curfew. This party is that important. People literally risking life and limbs. And therefore, you notice all of the people them who disobey law and order by going to party and them crash them then. I wonder if you notice that. So, you can continue doing it, you know. You can continue doing it if you know why. Because guess what? Me, I go there and read both, you know. Me now go come like some people and say, All right, P and go on like me. Sorry, me no sorry for no now. No, 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 here. In the motor car with 16 year old, the my party was driving. Let me say the age again. 16 year old, I come from party. When Mumma and him Pupa there. Me see them interview Mumma and Pupa. Me so find the video. I met the people, them see it. Because the police, them flat them up. The police, them lock them up. Crash into a utility pole near industrial terrace. Participants from an era in toys spent Spanish towns in catching. He along with the other occupants of the car, 23 year old Javain Dove of Barracks Road in Montego Bay, St. James. You left all the way from country come at town come dead big country for food boy. In your world, Krishana Ellis, whose addresses are known and an next meal. Yeah, me have them picture them. We don't see them picture and see all of the crash scene already so we don't need to go no further with that. Let me tell you something. If you can't hear, you're with Feel that's all me up to say. Maybe deal the rest of the news here yeah, because the people them want to know we are going to the country. We know sorry for people who kill off themselves God them wanted to do that. The St. James police are investigating the murder of a man and a woman in Mount Pelier in the parish. They are 34 year old Tracy and Weekly, a laborer from the district and a man with whom is believed that she was in a common law relationship with. He has not yet been identified but the police say that his body is of dark complexion, stout bill and measured at about 5 feet 6 inches and spotted dreadlocks. It is believed that he was in his mid 30. The incident happened at about 9.30 p.m. Thursday, resident reported heard an explosion and called the police. The cops say when they arrived, weekly was seen lying in a pool of blood outside her house on Guinep Tree Lane. Them places not are making news these days so the man was found inside the house lying on a bed with gunshot tool. So the police and the police them said there is very little the police can say at this time but based on our investigation it would appear that both victims were the intended target and investigator told us. Clear indication the boyfriend was killed execution style in bed while it appeared the female was chased inside her neighbor's yard and then shot. And them say crime and violence done. That them say not. That is where them come out come say. But their killing brings St. James total murder to 53 so far this year. That's 26 more than and last year during the same period. The bus guy left with the panda end of the map. Them who continue the use down panda side. The Granville police has come in investigation surrounding the siege of an assault rifle, which was discovered at a premises in Granville, St. James, on Thursday, April 22nd. Three men, including a popular footballer, was held in connection with the siege. So any local footballer who the nasty a playing a football, come come tag them name in the comment section with the people them know. Oh, report from the police that at about 3:30 p.m. on Thursday, the police carried out an operation at a section of Granville community known as Granville Drive. 
life. During the operation, the lawman searched a premises and stumbled upon a assault rifle which was found underneath the cellar of a three bedroom boat structure dwelling. The three men, including the footballer, was taken into custody in connection with the seizure. John was started to feed them on the police and should have slapped them. Eh? But let me tell you this now. Let me tell you this. You need to up and find this boy. Jungle Justice Community, this boy, I need you for find. The Hanover police and team from the Center of Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse are on the hunt for a man who alleged a rape or attempt to rape a 12 year old girl in Green Island in the parish. The mother of the child who walked in on the incident on Monday, April 9, reported the matter to the police. According to the report received by the police, the child was sent, sent to her grandfather's house to complete her schoolwork online as the child does not have internet at home. She left her grandfather's house at noon as per usual to have her lunch at home but did not arrive there. When she did not arrive home for lunch, her mother became concerned and called her daughter's cell phone but did not receive an answer. She then called the child grandfather who reported that the child had left his house for lunch at home. The concerned mother then left her home to search for her daughter. Why the mother never cares some paper down when she go search for her daughter? When the woman reached an undisclosed location, the police said she reported the heard strange sound coming from an abandoned building. She went to investigate and found her daughter lying on the ground on her back. The dress pulled up, her underwear removed, and the accused man who was naked between her legs. The shocking mother called out his name, so one never give him name so the people them know him the people them can find him and the people them must know where him there for a resident respond to the woman cry and assist her to gather the accused men clothing and other personal belongings including his cell phone which was turned over to the Green Island Police and a report was made about the incident the child was taken to the hospital for treatment let me tell you something let me tell you something now them need for find a way for the police boy yeah man this a boy need Forget that shit. Me now ask you now tell me I tell you no. All my cried and big up every stunt. That it wasn't a stunt, people. That wasn't a stunt. That happened in a stuff yesterday. But me need to tell the bike rider them something. Me need to take on the time on the road. On the need to take on the time on the road. You look hundred and fifty dollars and put it on the tank and I ride up and down like so on a speed demon. Take time. Every day you know I'm a combo, I come talk about the same thing. Take on the time. Under the truck, him run. That the people them say. Under the truck, on the cab, them the truck now. But from the other day, me know what I'm to the bike riders and the truck drivers. Them like every single day, one lick, one half of this, and one lick, one out of that, and one run over one. If you don't want to take on the time on the road, you can continue. You know, can guess what? Me they have met the people them know what go on. And me I tell the people them say, who wrong from who right. So you go and ride fast and you go and do the foolishness. Don't want this to me. Who can hear Wilfred? But people, remember today is Sunday and Sunday hungry and normally nice. So if you can do something for your neighbor, just do it before the curfew. Don't wait until the curfew start, then me I go here and say, yo, you know what I'm saying? this to give, but I can't buy that gear. That's over there, yard, man. Let me take it and find that way for cook it. Just do that. Understand? How are you cook today, though? Tell me how you cook today. Red rice and what? How you not cook red rice? Why not cook? You not cook some ground provision? Always remember. Full on the belly to the canoe. No, we shall have the only can get for full it. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, come check us out, alright?